Welcome to Electrical Engineering Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to don't miss our upcoming videos. What is a contactor? A contactor is one of the main electrical circuit parts, which can stand on its own as a power control device, or as a part of a starter. Contactors are used to make and break power supply lines running to a load. Or, to repeatedly establish and interrupt an electrical power circuit. Contactors are used starting with light loads to the most complex machine control. Contactors are mainly used with motors, transformers, lighting, heaters, and distribution panels. And it can be considered as the intersection point between control and power circuit because it's controlled by the control circuit, and it's controlling the connection between power and loads. So you can find the contactor symbol in both, control and, power drawings. Contactor is used when frequent start-stop, or remote controlling is required. The contactor is consist of, two iron cores, one is fixed, and the other one is movable, the coil, and it's an insulated copper coil, located on the fixed iron core. Six main contacts, for power connection, three are fixed, and the other three are free to move, with the movable iron core. These contacts are made from pure copper, and the contact points are made from special alloy, to withstand with the high starting current, and temperature. Spring, it is located between coil, and the movable core. Auxiliary contacts, it could be normally open, or close, and it is not designed to carry high load, same as the main contacts, it allows us, to make on and off for some light current loads, such as, contactors coil, relays, timers and many other control circuit parts. And it is linked to the contactor mechanism. So when the contactor is energized, it will change its status from normally open to close, and vice versa. How a contactor works. When applying the control voltage on the coil leads, A1 and A2, a magnetic field will be generated, attracting the movable iron core towards the fixed core, so the movable contacts which are fixed to the movable core, will move as well towards the fixed contacts, to make a contact and allow the power lines to run to the load. If we interrupt the control voltage supplying the coil, the magnetic field will disappear, and the force spring, will push the movable parts to back again to its original position, that will lead to interrupt the power going to the load. How to choose the correct replacement for a contactor? First, you have to check the coil voltage, it is the control voltage which is used, to energize the contactor, and you can find it printed, on the contactor, between A1, and A2, it must be same as the used contactor. Second, check the auxiliary contacts, if available, how many normally open and close, were used in the old contactor. Third, check the contactor rating. It is the contactor designed capacity, and it is printed in a table on the contactor. If we check this contactor table, it is written from 18.5 to 56 kW. Which one is the contactor rated? It depends on your load. If your load is a motor, so you have to check the AC3 table. Then, say your power network voltage is 400 volt. That means that, this contactor rating is 30 kilowatt. Thank you for watching.